So I just found out Taylor made an Instagram post where she went and she let all of her followers know that she is a single woman and she's having problems finding the right man. She also went on and she put down her qualifications of what she was looking for in a man. So we have a question for everyone. Why is it so hard to find a man that's over 6'3", has a job, never been to jail, or, you know, isn't gay? I feel like I have the most minimal requirements to finding a man and not a soul meets them. So I guess I'll just be single forever and ever and ever. It's fine with me though. It's really troubling me because it's not what I would expect my wife to do. It's not what I would expect any significant other. If I was dating someone and you know, they made this disgusting video. It doesn't reassure me that I am married to someone who is committed to our relationship. Like, it, it feels like I'm alone in this like, at this point. It really sucks. And I've put a lot in, a lot of effort into this. I've moved into this place. I've moved into this spare room, and I've gone through all these exercises, and I've worked my butt off to show this woman that I really, truly care about her. And yet, here she is making this video. It just sucks. It, it really sucks. I'm hurt. I'm crushed because I got into this marriage to find a partner and a soulmate, someone who is going to elevate the two of us. I have done what I can to try to get us back on track. It looks like it's not working. I'm not in a good place. I'm not happy. So I need to protect myself. I'm not going to stay in this house with her. At this moment, it just feels like we can't bounce back from this, and our marriage is over with. Hi, Bubby. I was out with friends last night, and I tried texting Brandon a few times, but he never answered. Every single day is different. We're really not talking to each other. The closet's empty. Now I know why Brandon's not answering my texts, but this is just another time when he's been mad at me and decided not to talk to me about why. <gasps> oh, Brandon left his keys. It's like, why can't you just talk to me about it? Why do you have to go to the most irrational place? If the boy doesn't want to communicate with me, he's going to derive his own opinion. If you think about the whole process, this is not what I came here for. So it's upsetting that I like feel like I put in a lot of effort into something that's not working. Hello? Hi, Taylor. It's Dr. Viviana. How are you? Just wanted to ask you a couple questions about the Instagram story that I just saw. I had a group FaceTime with my friends, and I told them all the struggles that we're having. And we were talking about, like, things that we wanted that seemed minimal. Actually, I thought that the video was quite funny. Do you understand how it comes across like it is? Oh, I'm sure. But, I mean, honestly, it wasn't meant to be taken as a literal video. But because you and Brandon have been struggling, how does this honor the fact that y'all were supposed to be starting fresh? Oh, you know what? That's fine. OK, so I did start fresh with Brandon, and I did give Brandon a very, like, a very fair second chance. You know, he comes in the house, ignores me. He comes in the house. And when he does talk to me, it's not nice. He called me, of all people, high maintenance. And it's just like, I'm done I'm done dealing with it. You know, he thinks that he can run away from all problems, and I'm over it. So I'm happy that he's moved out. I can't get past the disrespect that's coming from nowhere. You know, I'm really hoping that Brandon's going to be able to turn this around and be that partner that he could be to you. And I want you to be able to say, awesome, I'm glad I didn't push you away. I just don't want you to start behaving in a way that you're not proud of, <laughs> even if it's just on a funny Instagram story. Sure, out of respect for you and the experts, I will refrain from posting such things. I feel like Dr. Viviana wants me to be sympathetic to the video I posted, but this is just a small video where I mentioned normal things, but it means just like, you know, these are things that I feel, and if that hurt his feelings, okay, but it wasn't a video about Brandon, and it wasn't a video for Brandon, and if Brandon feels some type of way about that, that's unfortunate, but, you know, that's something I can't help. <sighs> I hope that things get better very soon.